Hey, Social Cam, this is uh, Pastor Sanders, to some, Mark to others. Um, I was just sitting here thinking, um, you know, there's a show I watch on television called Criminal Minds. Love that show. It's really about um, FBI criminal profilers who profile criminals. And um, I was thinking about what's going on in the church today that as the Bible said was going to happen, many are walking away from the faith. And um, back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, I walked away from God for a little while. And, um, but I just didn't walk out. There was some symptomatic things happening to me where it made it easy to walk away from God. And I wanna help somebody out today by giving them the profile of a backslider. Um, when a person um, starts walking away from God, um, one of the first things they lose is their praise. You know, they stop praising. When you stop giving God glory in your life, when you stop giving God thanks, there is a staleness and deadness that's setting into your spirit. Um, another thing that they lose is fellowship. This is when people start finding excuses not to come to church not to fellowship, not to be around other Christians. It's work-related, uh, relationship-related. Um, I'm just not going back to the church because I'm not growing there, and I'll get to that point later. Um, one of the other things that also happens is fault-finding. You start finding fault with the body of Christ. You know, church is full of hypocrites. People aren't living right. People are religious. Uh, people are too traditional. And you start getting all this fault finding about the church. Um, one thing I'm going to declare to you is that the church is absolutely perfect. Um, I know people aren't used to hearing this. You know, every church got problems. The church of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ, is absolutely perfect. It has no flaws because Christ is at the head of it. Um, the danger about starting to find, find fault is that you can start becoming comfortable with your own sin. Also, a backslider, a potential backslider, will start rationalizing wickedness and rationalizing and justifying sin. Don't ever find yourself justifying your mess. If you're going to live in mess, don't try to justify. It's just mess that you're in. Um, the term misery likes company. A lot of backsliders will try to find company, so they try to find other people that are discontent. And this is when people end up leaving church. You know, being a pastor uh, for almost 15 years, um, I'm, I hear things such as, I'm not growing here. Um, <laughs> I understand the concept. There are some churches that are struggling and some ministries and pastors and people that are struggling. But I've came to the conclusion that the church is not designed to grow me as a believer I'm designed to grow it um, the church is not I'm not growing here I'm not prospering here well what are you doing while you're there when Christ is sitting at the head um, I find it interesting that a lot of people end up leaving church if, you know if I was at a church and I was spiritually dying I would find another church where I could grow but a lot of people that are leaving end up leaving church and going nowhere, which denotes to me that the problem wasn't the church, the problem was you. Let me repeat that, the problem was you. If God has assigned you to a place, for one, the place is not going to be perfect because everyone there is growing in the grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. If the church is dark and you say, oh, I just find the church, you know, I'm, you know, it's not, then maybe God sent you there to be a light, to be a help, um, to be an assistance in the body. So when I'm, what I'm saying is this, um, you have to work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Um, don't blame the church for your lack of relationship with God, because the church didn't save me. The church didn't redeem me. The church didn't forgive me. Jesus saved me, Jesus forgave me, Jesus redeemed me. And every Christian should be joined to a body of believers. When people say, well, I'm, I'm saved and I'm sanctified, but I'm not a part of any organized church, that doesn't make sense. 
Because if you're in the body of Christ, you should be fellowshipping with people of like faith. So, you know, I'm the kind of person, I've been, I've been in church all my life. Don't throw at me, well, I just don't go to church. I'm between churches. I'm trying to find a place that I can grow. Get yourself planted in the word. One of the things that people are chasing now is they want to be titillated and tickled in church. And the Bible says in the last days, um, men shall be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. More people are coming to church looking for what the church can do for them rather than what they can do to serve in the church. Well, I'm not going to go in too deep. It's a day before Thanksgiving. And I hope everybody enjoys their holiday and just take some heed. If you're out of church right now, you are not fellowshipping anywhere. That's what's hindering your growth. You know, if you're if you feel like you're not growing, you start personally growing. Study your word, get in prayer, um, start believing, and coming with a um, an attitude of anticipation instead of an attitude of criticism. And right now, for all of my friends, all of my childhood friends that have left the church, get your behind back in church. I know I'm pastor, I'm supposed to be eloquent, but get your behind back in church. Go back to your pastor, submit to God, submit to spiritual leadership, and grow and enjoy this walk the way it was designed to be lived. God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you.